In this video, we will talk about good versus bad procrastination. To start, we will explore the idea of pushing off assignments to double your level of productivity. At the beginning of this video course, it was discussed that waiting until the last minute produces hormones which can force a person to work faster. At this point, you can use the same concept to manipulate your mind into working on a large task near the deadline to complete it in less time. For example, if an assignment is going to take you 10 hours to complete on a normal day, it might only take 7 hours to complete when it's done close to its deadline. This is because the person who is working on it will feel rushed to complete it, and he will try to work as fast as he can to submit it on time. Now, let's talk about how procrastination can benefit you. 1. Finish work faster by getting an energy boost. 2. Learn how to become focused. 3. Delegate and prioritize the tasks in front of you. 4. Set up a work-life balance for yourself. The first way a person can use procrastination to finish his work faster is by getting an energy boost. Energy is hard to maintain throughout the day. It will slowly decrease until it reaches the point where a person wants to procrastinate. Every task that he accomplishes throughout the day will surely take a bit of energy from him. When he runs out of energy, he will feel forced to wait until the last minute so he can feel the sense of challenge and gain a boost of energy to finish his assignment on time. If a person uses procrastination in this sense, he will find himself going against deadlines more often. His employer will then see that he can complete assignments faster even though he waits until the last minute. Since he can prove that he can complete an assignment faster, he will be given more work, causing him to become more overwhelmed. Because of this, it is better to be careful and not use procrastination for every assignment you have. Looming deadlines by themselves cause a lot of stress and anxiety. They cause a person to start craving for the adrenaline that causes his energy boost. This scenario is similar to where a person will question himself, wait until the last minute, and want to get that positive reinforcement from the energy boost. Even when a person has no energy left because of a long workday, the fear of not submitting an assignment on time will provide that all-important energy boost to get the job done. The second way to use procrastination to your advantage is to learn how to become focused. While most people believe that they can focus well on any task, they still get distracted at times. To test if you are focused or not, work on a paper for two hours. If you tried to find any videos to watch, decided to hear the next song on your playlist, or got up to stretch your legs within those two hours, the chances are that you did those things to distract yourself from completing the assignment. When you're working on a task, the best way to stay focused is to make a firm decision on things. You can either continue working on the assignment or you can look away for a few minutes. These options will always exist every time you work on a task. The third way to use procrastination in a positive way is to delegate and prioritize the tasks in front of you. Earlier in this video course, it was mentioned that it is important to schedule everything that needs to be done during the day. Everyone in the workplace deals with major and minor tasks daily. When listing these tasks on a sheet of paper, it is always best to organize them from the most important to the least, also taking into account the amount of time needed to accomplish them. Doing this will make it easier to get through the entire list. From there, you will simply have to practice and learn to determine how long it will take to do certain assignments and how much you are able to work in a certain period. Some people might be able to sit down for seven hours straight when they work on a single project. Others might only be able to work for two hours straight. Remember that you are different from your colleagues and that you must work around your limitations to fulfill your assignments. The last way you can use procrastination positively is to set up a work-life balance for yourself. When developing yourself as a leader for your company, procrastination will simply come naturally. Because there is so much that needs to be done. In this situation, a person will deal with more work than he is used to. Therefore, he will not be able to focus on some parts of his life. 
It is important to realize that time should be set aside for every part of your life. You should dedicate time for yourself, your family, and your work. It is always important to have time to yourself so you can think about the kind of person you have become. Having lots of hobbies and raising a family while working is a hard thing to accomplish. It is not about getting one thing done or having one focus at a time. Instead, it's more about realizing all the parts that are important to you. You should be able to spread yourself evenly when doing different tasks during the day. Doing this will create a stable balance that causes less stress on you. The best way to develop this balance is to think about what you do in a day. If you spend more time at work than with your family, then your life is out of balance. You must realize that holding things off until the last minute will make it harder for you to strike a balance since anything can happen. At the same time, procrastination can be used to create time for yourself. Working on something at the last minute will allow you to do it faster and give you time to work on other things the next day. Take note that it is not a good thing to rely upon procrastination, but it can be used to develop a balance within your life. Procrastination becomes a bad thing when it causes a person to become more stressed than he was before. This will start to happen when he has too many assignments to work on and not enough time to complete them before their deadlines. With a scenario like this, it is natural for a person to think if he is still doing the right thing. In the process, he is also losing sleep and slowly becoming malnourished. People will push things until the last minute thinking that they can get more sleep and relax more. The reality is that a procrastinator will not be able to do an assignment which would normally take a person five hours to do in just an hour. The moment he starts to feel stress and anxiety after completing an assignment signifies that he has gone over the line. This situation arises when a person relies on procrastination too much, simply trusting the idea of pushing back an assignment until the very last minute. When he starts to submit things on time, even though he is procrastinating, he will start to use it more often and forget about deadlines. Procrastination can be a good thing when it leads to the balance and success of completing your assignments. It is about using one's mind to get a rush of energy to finish the tasks of the day. The four items above state how you can positively use procrastination to improve yourself and advance in your workplace. People will realize that they are using it in a good way when things are being accomplished quickly. When they start to develop a schedule alongside utilizing procrastination, they will be able to use it in the best way possible. This way, they create a balance within their lives and continuously learn new techniques. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.